I can only imagine what people today would do. Hello, everybody. This is Prehistoric PC. Welcome to the Prehistoric PC video. Um, another, actually. I haven't done Prehistoric Kingdom in a while, so why not do this? I'm gonna create a Spinosaurus habitat because my videos haven't been getting a lot of views recently. So, time to change that. Um, I'm gonna, like, create a little semicircle fill filled with wood. Uh, and it's gonna be kind of like some water. I would do semicircular, like, underwater viewing, but... I don't think I mastered the glitch yet. Um, this speed build took me like an hour to make, I think. An hour and nine minutes. I'll check it later. And I'm putting on some fences so people don't decide to just jump in and die. Uh, I This build, um, it's on the Steam Workshop. I released it like a day early or something. Um... I feel like uh, I put this up a little early, so if you've downloaded it already, um, you're cool. <laughs> um, I've done this uh, like thin wood fence because it's a new, relatively new item. Um, I haven't really done anything new uh, with this. And this fence, um, again, the grid was kind of weird. And with this, um, God, what am I saying? I should, I'm gonna put some music up, like, in the six minute mark, I wanna say. I don't know. Um, let me put up some, I'm gonna put up the fence, like the little barrier. And, like I said, the grid was very weird. It was deciding to just be stupid. Um, stupid, what up? Never mind. Um, so now I'm just adding, like, the fence and trying to, like, put the little metal part up. And I ended up, and I did like it, uh, when it was just, like, kind of moving, like, sloping downward. But that wouldn't have been good for Spinosaurus. I did end up having to put, like, glass over it as you saw in the intro like glass fence because spinosaurus just hopped over it um i did i'd really like to have more water features but it's not the way we get stuff but um getting up like putting up some water and putting up some big blue water and i don't put like uh um i didn't put any like uh desert stuff up here because why should I? And I'm gonna pull. I'm just gonna like fill in the gaps with this thing. Um, gonna put up some more water. The water. I hate when you like modify the terrain. It just like, like um, like starts getting pixelated. That's a good. And the rocks. Um. Like, I put up good rock work, and I tried to make, like, a little barrier here. And, um, didn't really, uh, have any stuff like that. And I'm almost gonna put up some music here. Um, yeah, so don't worry, you won't have to, uh, listen to me talking that much longer. And I'm putting up some adobe clay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put up this thing uh, for like a window. There. And now let's put up the wall. Boom, boom. And let's raise that up. Just putting up some gla glass. And put up uh, like, kind of a little barrier here, because I don't like how it just ended off. So, let's put up a little triangle part. Now, let's, so now this is, like, um, a little pole area, like, pole, like, a metal grate area. I used wood for it, but, um, yeah, I walked up with a little pole area, and 
I didn't really like how they were on both sides, and it kind of affected the stability, or the viewing stability, I guess. And didn't really look well, so I deleted some. Um, I yeah, so I deleted some with uh, and that looks pretty good. And we have that little window part. I'm just gonna build up with some of the wall and add some to the flooring, uh, like creating kind of a little base for it, which was, um, yep. And I'm gonna try to move this to make it look. And there. Um, now we're just gonna finish up the railing there. Uh. That's going to be all the railing, and then we have, um, and then let's put up that, boom, and also going to put up some glass, uh, like a little viewing area, um, going to scale down, like, the metal beams here, and creating, like, a trimming for the, uh, windows, for, yeah, because it looks because it looks really good. Um gonna put up I'm gonna I have trouble deciding what my custom made fence is gonna be and I'm putting up some cracks right here. Um gonna make there. Like crack glass, like like an aesthetic. Um to make like kinda like I won't say horror attraction, but something else along the lines of that. Um I that's all the cracks I put because I didn't wanna do stuff. Any more stuff. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to make the fence. Um, kind of just. Uh, kind of just like. You know brick wall. Boom boom. Yeah I don't really. Know what I'm going to do with these. And. Ha and now we got the. Mesh. And gonna put like a little slot roof area, and it looked pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, I put up that area thing right there, and gonna put up like this little plaster wall there. And now we can put up uh, the fence along the grid. Uh, I really like on the grid stuff, and then I realized that happened. Um, I forgot to put off weather, and I thought I was, I thought it was, ha I thought it was happening. If you know what I mean, but I was not prepared for that. I was like, "Wait, it's happening! It's happening!" Um, now I'm gonna put up this, uh, like the hard shelter. Uh, it kind of it's supposed to be kind of like a backstage area. And I realize this ends up being a pretty big hard shelter, so I end up scaling down a little bit. Um, I definitely think there is room to improve um, for my uh, building skills. That's what that's what this entire that's the point of this entire channel to improve your building skills. Um, gonna put up this. Here we have that. Boom. And we're going to put like a little overhang. Some new windows. A uh, path up there thing. Um, boom. It, there. We. Um, going to put up some glass. Now this always on the Steam Workshop. Again, I'll put the link in the description and make a post on this later. Um, a little bit about Dynamistic Sanctuary. Uh, you... I'd like, um, I'm gonna post a new video this weekend, I just need to work on a thumbnail. Uh, this is the video I've been working on the most, but yeah, I have quite a lot of stuff made for this. And, changing the color and making a door for this, like the keeper stuff. And I make this little backstage area, it's not the best backstage area, unless Prehistoric Kingdom comments on it again. Uh, then it will be the, come the best, back, best backstage area. Um, now we have this. And you're going to put up like the little rake for stuff. And a little broom for other stuff. 
um, putting up this, boom, and wheel, wheelbarrow, like it's, and then we have that, boom, here, and then we have the shovel, um, make it look like it's hanging, put up a hose, for whatever reason, S pressure washing dino dung, um, putting up an air conditioning unit, putting up some vents, because why not? Um, it's a, gonna be a pretty small vent, but, hey. Gonna put this up, and, there, that looks pretty good. Um, I do end up changing some stuff off camera, and, uh, you'll see that later in the final clips, but, um, because this, like, the Spinoceratops the sp spinous I can't tell what, where Jurassic World Evolution 2 ends and um, Prehistoric Kingdom begins. Either way, um, we got this. Uh, I'm going to pull up a little handle. That's my best handle um, in quick time. Here we have this. And let's put up a restaurant. There. And I tried to put, like, figure out something to put up there. So I just ended up putting a restaurant. And. There. Uh, putting up, like, you know, another restaurant. There. Uh, putting up that, putting up that. And. Putting up some more benches. I tried to make it scary and ended up just using the blueprints. Because I was nearing the end of my patience. So, let's have this. There. Um, put up some benches. I really like the arid benches. It looks pretty, like, futuristic. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. So, I guess they might have messed up, but hey. Now, let's put... Now, I change the terrain uh, to make it look like a wetland. With some bedding. Um, adding some mud and some feeders with some reeds and some tropical vegetation. And it ended up looking pretty good. Uh, like, you know, not too much stuff, not too little stuff. And putting up, like, a little curve to make it connect. Um, here's the end. Uh, it's on the Steam Workshop if you want it. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm going to keep talking because we're not done yet. Um, hold up. Let me fix this. Yeah, um, either way, you can see the Spinosaurus walking through this area thing, like the bars, and it looks pretty cool. And then I raised up the roof a little bit because it looked bad. So, please like and subscribe, and until next time, bye bye